Hi, um, this is a video response to um, Teddy Nike. I can't pronounce the last name, but um, the video response to when it's time to break up. Um, I just want to say, dude, uh, you, your videos are very deep, I must say. I mean, you, you seem to be a really grounded person and you seem to have a lot of like, information about this stuff. And I really respect that. Um, what you said was a lot of very informative, you know, very useful stuff. And you're, you're absolutely right. When, when, when it's not fun anymore, then you should just get out when you can, right? Um, some, another thing to take into factor, though, is just sometimes people do try to leave, but um, then that person who they're trying to leave from is, you know, well, give some leeway or something like that. Make it seem like, you know, that they 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 still want you there for them. And so that's how it's so easy to fall back into the same cycle, and that's why. But it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Um, you can honestly just get out when you can. Like you said, you know the feelings. You know what's right and what's wrong. You know. If it's not going to progress to something different, then you need to go. So, you need to go. <laughs> um, definitely, you kick, you hit on a key point. Uh, memories, people like to go off of what used to be, instead of what it is. Whether they don't want to face the present, what just happened now. Um, a lot of them think, you know, because from then to now, it's they they did something wrong, and that they need to fix that. Or they need to find rigor. They need. They're obviously overthinking what they did from each step, and figure out trying to figure out did they do something to offend that other person, and that's why the other person has changed their behavior towards them. Um, not necessarily that's true, of course not. It's just some people just mature faster or just grow over time, just get older and grow and have different opinions. That just happens. That's life. So, but a lot of people don't understand that. And they don't get that and. That's unfortunate, so, yeah, that was another good point that you made, and just also, you know, who wants to be around a person who just makes you sad, that's, that's not good, that's, that's terrible, um, so, I, like I said, I really, that video was very insightful, and a lot of it made sense, and I, I'm actually, uh, decided to go ahead and, you know, change some stuff with that video in my own personal life. So now I can, I feel actually a little bit, a lot better than before. So because I knew the truth and I just didn't want to face it. I thought maybe over time that things would just solve itself. But obviously you have to take the initiative and you have to do it yourself. So I did it myself and now things are better. For me, at least, you know. And so now I can, I feel liberated and ready to just keep going and keep uh, moving on to the next thing. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate. A lot of people are not, it's not that easy for them. It's a little more easier said than done because, you know, there's some attachment there, especially those who had got really in a really deep relationship that they just, you know, that, that it's really harder to let go when you get deeper. Especially when you really have, like, a deep connection with that other person. And you guys really, really did love and care for each other. That one's difficult. And I don't even know. I can't even imagine that part. I, I can't even, like, give any advice to that. I just know that, like you said, those symptoms, if they can't say yes, if they say yes to all those questions you ask then it's it's time to go, you know? There's no need to stand around for that. You you don't need to be mistreated because of some, you know, because you feel like this person is going to change. Because they're not going to change. If they haven't changed so far, if they changed this way, then obviously that's just them. And then, therefore, you need to either change your environment or, you know, just get away by getting away. Changing by getting away and find someone who can give you what you need 
and because obviously they don't want to do it anymore. Is it their fault? No, not necessarily. Sometimes it just happens. Interest, you know, wane, and people just change their minds. That's just people. That's why you can't really put yourself and your whole entire life into another person because at situations like this, it's not going to be good for your psyche. So, um, yeah. Um, I guess in terms of me personally, I uh, it was a person I just so happy, you know, at, at one time, just really, really happy. Um, no butterfly stuff, but like just, just really a good meeting and really happiness. But and um, cool, can chill, talk, whatever. No awkwardness, not so much, and everything was just fine. Um, then things just changed out of the blue. So well, not just out of the blue like quickly, but I knew. I saw signs when it was changing, but I didn't say anything because I just thought maybe I was just being delusional. But then over time, like it really solidified and they changed. And like a fool, I, well, not a fool, just like a person who is so desperate to keep things the same. I don't really like change that much. I'll do it if I have to, but I would hope that things would stay the same. If it ain't broke, why fix it, you know? Um, so like a a person who doesn't really like change, I thought maybe I can do a couple of things that can can fix it, but I couldn't. And then I just started thinking, well, this this is my fault. Well, what did I do? How can I fix this? What, what can I do? I mean, I'm thinking of all these plans, of all these, of all the things that I can try to implement to restore what was before. But each one, it's just like it seemed to backfire on me, and then it just made me even more sadder and more upset with myself because not only was I, I was just feeling really guilty because I, I the blame I felt like I internalized it like it was me who was the problem that that's the reason why what happened why we it caused the the, the drift between us to make us go our separate ways a little bit like why we started to fall apart. But, um, uh, I, especially after watching your video, I then I realized, you know, you're right. It, it can't just all be me, obviously, you know. So, it, it just, it's something that's unexplainable. But you have to talk about it, you know, in order to solve it. And then you go from there. So... You talk about it and you solved it and and I just you know go from there. Sorry, sorry for a second. I'm just trying to clear my uh, monitor for some reason. It's like some dust on it. <clears throat> but um, yeah, you just go from there. Um, so sorry that this video is like really long. I was just, I had just wanted to let you know, this was like the response that I got from that. And I really digged it. And also like the other video that you did, um, the name of that was, what was it? Um, how to deal with rejection. I did that. I saw that video and underneath your other YouTube account. That was actually very informative too. That was so useful. Um, again, you have to, and you have to realize, you have to reflect and say, you know, this is not completely my fault. I did the best I could, um, and then it's, it's just sometimes it just doesn't work. You know, people they choose who they want to choose. You can't make them choose you. Um, so if you do like them and they don't like you back then that's unfortunate, but that's just how it is. You, you can't force them to change their mind. One day they might miss you and realize that what they had or that, you know, what they were looking for, you could provide them. But what they were looking for was probably, you could give it to them, but 
I was thinking they were thinking more on the outside appearance more so than the inside. So, and that happens with a lot of people here, and um, a lot of us, we choose beauty over brains instead of really looking deep into the other person. So, you know, one gets to know each other, just, we just want, you know, somebody to show off to their friends or to their family to show that they have something worthy and that it's more of a self-ego thing that we say in psychology it's because they feel like they're inadequate they feel like they don't amount to anything and that they're worthless so if they get someone who's hot then or you know sexy or somebody on their arm then then they feel like they're they can be a part of the crowd they fit in so that's the idea behind that and um eventually they find out that doesn't really work because if you have a person who's hot so hot they are also self-centered and self-egotistical meaning they only are indulgent within themselves so what that person is looking for is definitely not a quality relationship and it will never work um so yeah rejection it sucks it does but it happens and that's just how it goes, right? Um, I wasn't necessarily rejected to my face, but I picked up observations and I just took some clues and I put it all together myself and I realized that I was just pretty much wasting my time. So uh, I stopped wasting my time and now I'm just going to focus on some important stuff like writing, getting back into writing. Uh, that's one of my hobbies is I like to write. And also um, some other hobbies that I like to get back into so I can per, um, occupy my time better instead of waiting around, sitting and wishing and hoping. I'm, you know, I'm so sick. I'm one of those people who are so direct and straightforward that if I like you, I'm going to tell you. And... I am, um, unfortunately, again, a lot of people are playing games these days and they don't want to be straightforward with you or they'll one day seem good and the next day they just seem off. And that's a game to me and I'm so sick of games. So I'll just move on. Um, so yeah, um, I, like I said, I really appreciate you and all the videos that you make. Um, I hope you continue doing that. I mean, you seem to be very like understandable, very like a, a very, 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 very smart guy in terms of how to deal with you know in relationships or just general information about being deep. Obviously, you've been hurt, and yeah, that that's not good. I and mean, I I know that one, that feeling too. Um, and I followed you on Twitter too as well. I saw that you have some, your tweets are a little bit more insightful too. And I'm just I'm like, wow, this guy is so prolific. And that's cool. I mean, I don't really meet, I don't really see that many prolific people still anymore. I feel like everybody's so superficial. But obviously, you still have a good head on your shoulders and you still like think deeply. And you still, you know, I feel like you know the concept of what love is supposed to be. A lot of people don't know the concept of what love is supposed to be anymore. What they see on media and stuff like that, they think, oh, that's love. But you know what love is. It's a center, if it's a self-sacrifice, it's putting that other person before yourself. And you know that. And I know that too. Uh, but no one else seems to really respect that concept. It's more individualized me first and then I'll think about you later yeah so <clears throat> um but yeah, like I said just you know keep, I hope you keep making videos uh my channel is a little bit dead right now cause I haven't made anything since last year but I will be updating soon and um my information is more of a self esteem kind of channel it's more of a you know the perk you up people who are not feeling well about themselves or about their environment or just in general about you know it's for teens who 
feel like they're worthless when they're not. It's just the people who they're around make them feel that way because they are insecure about their own stuff. So they want to make you feel terrible. And so that's my my channel is to you know fight through all that and get them back up. Get them fighting, you know. Just because you're down doesn't mean you're out. And sometimes you have to fall, to you know, fall really hard to stand back up stronger. And you have to have some patience because nothing can be fixed over time. But, um, oh, I do have a question for you. I mean, the question would be if, 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 if. That you do requested topics um, for your videos, and I want to know what are your thoughts on because I I watched your video when you say when people say um, playing hard to get, and that was also that was very um, good too to realize, um, but I want to know. Um, Why, why, why with the games? You know, what and or what? What is um, the the idea behind the games? Why, why play them? What are your thoughts on on them? My thoughts is they just play them because they're bored or. They've been hurt so many times that they feel like this other person needs to go through some games and some tricks and uh, to go through some hoops and once they like test, like they need to pass these tests. And once they pass these tests, then then they are free to be with this person. This person it will accept them after they pass tests. But I feel like some of the tests are tedious. Like there's no it's not useful for them. These are not like cool tests. These are just hard wasteful tests and it makes no sense to do this you know if a person really cares about you and they really love you you know i mean you do you do know those i mean it's a feeling it's not even like show me and i'll show you it's it's a feeling you get you it's like a look in your eyes or it's just a feeling like you know this person is here for me and only me and so there's no need to do any games to say, oh, if you don't if you don't pass it this way, then you, you don't care about me as much as I care about you. When that's technically not true. Um, recently, what I've also what I've heard so many times from many people, my friends that I've talking to, <clears throat> because a lot of them told me the same thing, and I guess that's one of my little problems as well is instead of saying stuff, I internalize it and I don't say anything. I just let it stay inside of me. And the other person doesn't know what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling because I won't say it. So then that causes a miscommunication problem and then that causes more problems and that just makes everything worse. And so if, um, I'm working on that. But I feel like in terms of that, that can also be a factor into games too where this person's angry at you, but they don't want you to know that they're angry at you, or they think you should already know that they're angry at you, and they should say sorry, or if they don't say it, then they should just play like, oh, okay, well, if you're ang I'm angry at you, so this is what I'm going to do. It's kind of hard. I mean, you can't really do anything about that, can you? I mean, it's just... What can you do? So, uh, the game is stop playing games. That's the problem. Games are not the kid stuff. They're you know you're if you're like older than eighteen, you shouldn't be playing games. You should be able to be more mature about handling a potential mate, um, or you know your own relationship. How to keep it going. 
there should be no games. I mean, unless you agree on having fun games, if you guys are going to play games mutually, but other than that, there's no point. <clears throat> so, yeah, I just, I think that, that that's, that's just, that's my ideas about that. Games, I so your ideas, I would like to hear about why the games, you know, besides mine, my ideas, maybe you have a little bit more to add to that, um, if that is close to what you were thinking. Um, but yeah, I, I really, like I said, I, I'm still so, I'm going to edit this video because it's really long right now, but um, I really, I really do appreciate that the video, uh, when, when it's time to, you know, just end it. Because a lot of people, that causes, that's one of the leading causes of what's going on, depression these days in time with all these people walking around here. They don't want to end it. They want to stay in it because they want what they had. And it's like a child with divorced parents. They want their parents back together, but... If the parents don't get along and they're not in love with each other anymore, then it's not going to happen. No matter how much they wish and how much they want. So I feel like, you know, people like myself, who I used to, who I used to be, who wants this, this person to, to, um, to stay with them and, or just try to be on the same level as before things just got out of hand sometimes you can restore it but it takes a long time and it takes effort effort like you said effort you can't be the only person it takes effort so that is another point that you made that was really good it definitely you're right about that too and so and I must admit, I mean, I'm a guy, and but I, over some some of my own things, like with dealing with that, I I did some crying because, like I said, I thought it was my fault, and I'm a I'm a very passionate person. Like when I when things are my fault, I would do whatever. If I feel like it's my fault, I would do whatever it takes to try to fix it and do what I can. Just whatever it takes. I don't even if it. Even if it affects me, if necessarily, I won't say I shoot myself in the foot um, or just, you know, just to make it better. No, because the ER trip is kind of expensive. Like, that's not even worth it. Um, but, like, whatever it takes that's non illegal and, you know, doable by my own body and strength, um, physically and emotionally, like, that's what I'll do. I'll do whatever it takes. I'm, I can see like you, you're kind of like a hopeless, you're like a romantic, a very deep romantic too. And that's me. I, we have similar um, qualities in that department. Like I, I, it's from the other videos I've seen that you seem to, like you are, um, when you do get a girlfriend, you treat her like she's the best thing in the world. And you communicate with her 24 hours. You said that in your video, you said that you would always send her a text in the beginning of the morning just, just to brighten up her day. And then a couple during the day just to make sure she's safe and she's okay. And then at night too. So like cons consistently during the day, you always check, you're always like communicating with her. And then also, you know, when you guys spend time with each other, it's just you and her and the cell phones are off unless it's an emergency. And then, like, you said some other good stuff, too. And I feel like those, like I said, I think you you do know the concept of what real love is. It's not stalkerish. It's not obsessive. It's just a general understanding between two of you. Like, me and you, we're together. The world is there. But it's just you and me right now. And so, that's just the concept. Me, I... Would definitely, I would definitely do the same thing.
I would do the const uh the texting I would do constantly. Yeah, but maybe maybe not so much text. I mean, unless we're both busy, then we have to do texting. But it I do some text and then more phone calls just to hear the voice. I like to hear the voice. That's my thing. Um. But then, yeah, no flowers or candy stuff. It's too cliche. I, I just want to be there for them. And so basically, I would, I would do probably the same stuff you've been doing or you would do. Uh, I'm not pretty sure if you're in a relationship right now. I noticed that you did break up uh, a couple of months ago with uh, someone, but I didn't get. I didn't. You know, that's not my. That's your business. I'm fine. Um. So. But yeah, I do hope that things do work out for you. You know, you're just like a really cool guy, and any 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 girlfriend that you get, it's it's gonna be she's she should be really she's gonna be blessed. I mean, lucky so much because you obviously you know you would treat her like how she should be treated, which is the only person who's worth it, and and you know you give her enough attention enough attention. You know how to balance it too with your own friends and your own family, but also you should make sure that, you know, she's top. And that you guys don't care what other people are looking at you guys doing and that you are just doing your own thing, you know? It should be like that. I feel the same way too. I, I, I should, we are we together, we should not care what other people think about us. Or, you know, just, we shouldn't. No PDA out in front of everybody. That's just like show offy. I mean, if I know you love me and you know I love you, that's all that matters. We don't need to do anything that shows other people that we are in love because we know we're in love. So there's no need. Um, so, yeah, um, I guess I should end this video now. But uh, thanks so much for, you know, the advice your videos they do work and people who do watch your videos they are getting understanding out of this you know so no more me inside i don't feel cold anymore i don't feel guilty anymore i feel much better i feel more happier and i feel like i can i can move on and that i won't you know like everything's it's going to be okay now so thanks and Hope to hear from you soon. All right. Take care, man.